Is he like messing with it? Is he like you no. know, talking about his actual Zipper motor? Head. He's talking about an actual motor, right? Okay. He's right. calling you Asian, man. He's, he's, he's hey. saying you're Asian. You know, you know, that's that, that's how the old cranky guys can tell the young kids <laughs> that haven't been around, believe it or not. They'll start talking about things like zipper motors and uh, twist gears. Zipper heads. And, and You know, uh, hemi heads and that type of stuff. And the kids are sitting there, huh? Oh, come on, what's that? Don't you know that? Didn't your computer tell you? What's that? Yeah. Come on, Todd. Share it. I was saying. Oh, the yuppie fuck. <laughs> 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 on these blocks that hold the shifter on, you have to be really careful when you're putting this stuff back together. There's a set of dowel pins just like the engine cases underneath these, and you've got to get these in at the same time. Okay? If you try to force things together, you wind up with bent and broken parts. This piece up here is what actually turns the drum as you shift. It's a ratchet assembly. Okay, we've got the cover off the side of the thing. We've got it exposed. The rear one, the main shaft, the clutch, yes, Todd? My friend Gabriel does not have a, a handout for this uh, power. How about John? You got John one? Nope. <laughs> See what happens when you don't come to school on time, man? You don't get the good stuff. I was going to ask you, so that one you don't have to Everybody's got here on time this morning, got one. Thank you, Todd. I'm glad to see you're looking out for your pros here, okay? Um, I don't care what they say about you, you're okay. Don't worry about that, man, I'll carry you. <laughs> one of the people that say that shit. <laughs> That's what I like about this class, man. They're always politically correct. <laughs> Okay, the main shaft, we got the clutch push rod going through it, don't we? Yeah. This is what disengages the clutch for us. Okay? This shaft here, there's nothing in it. When okay. you put the cover on, it's got like that little, it's like a little fork in the cover to that right there. There's an umbrella that sits in there. Is that what it's called? It's like a... Okay, what that does is that pushes against the clutch push rod. The reason the umbrella's on there is to sling the oil. They don't want the oil running down that shaft. So when you put it in, do you face it this way or do you leave it like that? What's that, Todd? That on, on the cover that goes on that right there. See what I'm saying? That there, there's a cover that goes over that. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then in that cover, there's that. It's like a little shaft and it has like a little fork on it, like that. You know what I'm saying? Okay. You know, that's, that's, a different, that's a different style of training. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. What is that, Dave? Is that an old four-speed ratchet top? That he's no, that's a five-speed FLT transmission. Okay, well, that's one of the oldies. Oh, oldie but a goodie. Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> and here's a five-speed? Yeah. Like 80? First year, the five-speed. <coughs> oh, FLTs, yeah. huh? Yeah. But only, only FLT, too, right? Yeah. Okay. Anytime we take and we remove these pieces off these trannies, we want new gaskets on them. Okay? Don't try to reuse that stuff. There again, on all these bolts, okay, that hold this trap door in, be sure you lock tight that stuff. One of the biggest issues is on Dynas, these bolts back here, and the one under here in the front, the guys running thunder headers, that's where they make the thunder header bracket bolt to. You know, lock tight them, they come loose, you develop an oil leak between the trap door and the main case of the tranny. <clears throat> Basically back up in here, okay? Even on some of the other, the big twins and stuff where they run the exhaust bracket. And what it does is it actually lets this thing get loose, it puts these bearings in a bind, and those bearings get destroyed, okay? There's the umbrella that I'm talking about. That's for the clutch push rod. What this does is it slings the oil off and keeps it from running down the push rod into the primary, okay? That goes on the end of the push rod? This, yeah, that's the last thing in before you put that cover on. 
Okay. So it doesn't get into the primary, we pull, right? We pull this cover off, and this hole right here, clutch push rod hole, this is the last piece in. Okay? And what this does is this slings the oil so it keeps the training oil from getting mixed up with the doggone primary oil, okay? All right. Inside